Good afternoon and welcome to your lunch primetime news. I'm Jupin Vigunasena. Now let's take a start. Let's take a look at the headlines. JVP says that the government of good governance cannot stay away from its responsibility over the Ambilipiti incident. Former Supreme Court Judge Sarat Diabru granted bail. Funeral of the youth killed in a clash in a liquor store in Valimada to be held today. International agencies start to transfer aids to besieged areas in Syria. Leader of the JVP and MP Anur Kumar Disanayake made a special announcement in Parliament today of the reports that have emerged on the murder in Amblipitiya. They have intervened in this matter to control an unruly situation. What are they saying here? They have said that was an unlawful gathering. It is the responsibility of the government to discuss within themselves and make a statement on this matter. We wish to ask, was this a statement of the government or the statement of the spokesperson? What is happening here? Over the recent past, we heard of incidents where suspects died when they were arrested by the police. Some had died when they attempted to flee while being escorted to show hidden weapons. We need to be speaking more on this and how far the people accepted those statements. Such incidents took place in the past. There was such a culture in the past. The actions of some in the police force result in the entire police force having a negative image in the face of the public. The allegations made by the locals against the police over this death must be taken into consideration. The media reports that the investigations are conducted by several institutions. It is a usual practice to commence an investigation after such an incident. The progress of some of the investigations remains a mystery. Commissions were to be established over the murders that took place in the past. When we requested for those commission reports to be tabled in Parliament, that too was not done. Crimes are swept under the rug with these type of investigations and commissions. What is sad to note is that society comes back to life after experiencing such a situation. For decades, the emergency law was in existence. Law was taken into their hands. The limits that the police can act on the civilians has not been cleared. The government of good governance, which made promises on this matter, cannot evade away from this responsibility. Following this incident, the people too are in an uneasy situation. How is a senior police officer involved in this? Will action be taken against those found guilty and will compensation be provided to the victims? What measures will be taken to prevent such incidents that take place in the future? How can those in the police dress in civil attire and behave in such an unruly manner? I hope the subject minister will make clarifications on this matter. United National Party Ma parliamentarian Dr. Kavinder Jawadana commented on the incident in the Amblipitiya that claimed the life of an individual. When I got word of the death of the youth in Amblipitiya, I contacted the chairman of the Human Rights Commission and discussed the progress of the investigation. We have also discussed the matter with their attorney Punchi Heva over the status of this case. It is evident that a group is working with a group of police officers to conceal this matter. Evidence is being influenced. They are trying to intimidate people. The attorney informed me that persons who went to file a complaint with the police were placed in remand custody. He also informed me that a false complaint was also recorded. There is a grave injustice that is taking place. A woman five months pregnant lost her husband and she is now alone with the child. We need to look at this in a humane manner. <laughs> The funeral of the youth who died following a conflict that took place at a tavern in the Dairab area in Valimada will be held today. J. Vijay Chandran, aged 28, who was hospitalized at the Badullah Hospital following a conflict that took place at a tavern at the Dayabaravatta on the 31st of December, passed away on Sunday. A tense situation arose in close proximity to the tavern following this incident yesterday. Balimada magistrate ordered to carry out the funeral before 6 p.m. this evening. In addition, another court order was issued to prohibiting the occurrence of protests. A correspondent stated that riot police and the police special task force were called in and were deployed in several areas including Valimada and Uwaparnagama. Black flags were also raised in several houses in the area. 
The Sri Lankan Human Rights Commission said that statements from a number of parties have been recorded in connection to a quarrel in Ambilipitia that resulted in the death of an individual. Chairman of the Commission, Dr. Deepika Udugama, said that officers of the Commission have arrived at Ambilipitia to conduct investigations into the incident. She stated that statements from area residents, police, judicial medical officer and a number of other parties are due to be recorded. She added that the Human Rights Commission hopes to conduct a proper investigation in a just time period. The National Police Commission said that they have requested for the police report of the incident from the IGP. Secretary of the Commission Ari Dasukure said that an independent investigation will be conducted once the report has been submitted. In addition, several police officers and area residents sustained injuries due to the conflict that took place at a function in Amblipitia. A youth died from injuries suffered after falling from a building. Now on to more local news. Police destroyed a cannabis farm in the Alutthada area in Hambegamur. The Hambegamur police were tipped off about the illegal cannabis farm that was operating in a one and a half acre plot of land. The police raided the farm yesterday and destroyed the crop this morning. Our correspondent said that the illegal cannabis farm was operated under the guise of cultivating maize. One suspect was arrested and investigations underway to apprehend several others. In addition, the police officers also rescued a parrot held captive at the illegal farm. Now on to one of the headlining, headline-making stories this afternoon. Former Supreme Court Judge Sarad Deabru, who was charged with sexual assault, was released on bail today. With well, a case pertaining to this matter was taken up before High Court Judge Padman Surasena. The judge ordered that Sarad Deabru be released on a cash bail of 100,000 rupees and a surety bail of 200,000 rupees. The former Supreme Court judge pleaded not guilty to the charge filed against him. The court ordered that the case be taken up for hearing again on the 23rd of May. Previously, Sarad Diabru was sent notices to appear before the Colombo High Court today. Earlier, Sarad Diabru filed a fundamental rights petition at the Supreme Court citing that the officers of the Criminal Investigation Division and the Attorney General had acted in an unlawful and arbitrary manner in filing action against him and that his fundamental rights had been violated by this. The petition was dismissed yesterday as the Supreme Court refused to grant leave to proceed after he was taken up for consideration before a bench comprising of Chief Justice K. Sri Pavan and Justices Priyantaja Wadhana and Upali Abe Ratna. Prices of all bakery products have increased due to the increased taxes on a number of goods. Chairman of Bakery Owners Association, N.K. Jawadhan, has stated that the price of a loaf of bread and a bun will rise by 5 rupees. The Orsilon Bakery Owners Association says that the 4% increase to the national building tax attributed to this price increase. The chairman of the Orsilon Bakery Owners Association noted that increased prices of raw materials for the production of bakery products is another reason for this. It adds that the price increase has resulted in a drop of revenue. Orsilon Bakery Owners Association notes that their businesses are also at risk due to this situation. And that's a wrap of your lunch primetime news. Join us again at 1.55 for more on the very latest.